Afghanistan allows mother's names on birth certificates in significant milestone for women's rights. Um, let's see if this article is too long for us to read the whole thing. Yeah, it is long for us to read the whole thing, so I'm going to read the summary. But if you do want to read the whole thing, the link is in the description, as usual. But I wish I could I had time to read this whole thing for you guys, but I'm going to read the summary, okay? Because we're going for so long right now. Um, all right, so let's read the summary. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani has signed an amendment allowing mother's names to be included on their children's birth certificate. Let me zoom in so you guys can read along with me. Um, after a three-year campaign by women rights activists, uh, hashtag where is my name campaigners are fighting an ingrained Afghan tradition that states using a woman's name in public brings shame on the family. What the hell? Uh, instead, women are uh, publicly referred to by the name of their closest male relative. Jesus Christ. Imagine thinking that mentioning a woman's name brings shame. Shame for just mentioning a female's name. Okay, so, yeah. By name of their closest male relatives. Jesus Christ. My feeling of, so here's a quote. My feeling of happiness may seem ridiculous for women in other countries, but when we live in a society where women are physically and spiritually excluded, achieving such basic rights is a big and difficult task, said Sonia Ahmadi, who joined the campaign when it began. Okay, so this is a great news and a horrible news at the same time. Imagine how backward your society has to be. That is great progress that your name is mentioned because before people said it was disgraceful to mention female names. This is the progress that Afghanistan is saying. How far back do you have to be? God damn it. I'm so sorry, Afghanistan. And thank you to these women. Holy crap. I know this is a small progress, but thank you for any progress, I guess. Hey, there's a video. Is it English? Oh, I am Wahida. Okay, so yeah, there's a video. Let's watch this video. Um, I am Wahida. This is a woman in hijab saying, before being sister and a daughter, first I have and... Independent identity, independent from my brother and father or husband. These Afghan women are fighting for something that we take for granted. Before being a daughter, wife, or mother, I am my sister. The right to be referred to by their own names. And they've just won a massive victory. Mothers now have the right to put their own names on their children's birth You can hear this, right? I really cried. It makes me cry whenever I think of the moment I heard the news. Wait, because in a society, I blocked her name. Every, this is a bad hair. Society, this is a bad hair it name. It and makes me. Sonia Ahmad, activist. It was. It was almost bad because I almost blocked her name right when her name was coming up on a news article about mentioning their name. I cry whenever I think of the moment I heard the news, because in a society where everything is against women and they work to keep women down, this is a big step forward. In Afghan tradition, women are often regarded as property and using their name outside of the home is thought to bring shame on the family. Their own names are missing on wedding invitations, legal documents, and even their own gravestones. It's one small piece of a, of a much larger puzzle of, um, of ways in which women's rights are still systemically violated, including by a discriminatory legal system. Um, but, but it's really significant um, because as long as um, women's names don't appear on identification cards, don't appear in public records. Um, they, their identities really don't exist and a lot of their legal rights don't exist. In Herat, Governor Wahid Katali held a press conference with the local women who launched the campaign. He asked journalists to add his mother's name, Zahidah, when quoting him. We stand beside these women and we promise to stand beside our mothers. Their names will no longer be hidden. I just want to say, I don't like that in Islamic countries, they keep wanting to give respect to women by calling them mothers, like as if, like, oh yeah, we respect women because they're mothers. 
as if if you're not a mother, then you haven't achieved your womanhood. Like, oh yeah, we 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 respect women because we respect mothers. And they say like, oh, the paradise is under the feet of mothers. Like, oh yes, yeah, look at how pro woman we're being. Not all women have to be mothers, God. Like again, this is adding to the pressure that you have to be a mom because if you're not a mom, you're not a full woman. But not all Afghan leaders are happy. This is going to face a lot of pushback, certainly from the Taliban, um, but but also just from conservative and traditional people in, in women's families. And as peace talks continue with the Taliban, Afghan women fear the limited number of rights they have fought so hard for and actually gained could be negotiated away. Tracy yeah. Shelton, ABC News. All right, so that was the last news. Let me just quickly do the... Uh, comments because I'm dying from starvation right now. Um, no, I, can, I shouldn't exaggerate that. That's not funny. Um, it's horrible to think that something so simple had to be fought for. That's the comment here. And such a backward society. Yes, but thanks. But guys, also celebrate these women who are fighting it to make it a little bit less backwards. Okay. Uh, Maggie is saying, funny the people saying they don't care or mocking it are men. Ah, uh, God, get the hell out of here, Maggie, with your identity politics. Ah, sh God damn it. Funny that people saying they don't care or marking it or men. Just criticize their sh crappy ideas. Why do you have to bring their gender into this? God damn it, Maggie. Maggie gets the woke award for today. Anyways, I'm going to end this now. Let me see, actually see if there's anybody in the live chat. Oh, yeah, AGA is telling everybody, AGA and Soha always reminding everybody to like and subscribe. Guys, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you come and subscribe to us on YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure if you have a Twitch account to follow us on Twitch. And guys, share, 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 God damn it. Share this video so we grow. We're doing good here, guys. You did not like the way I presented the information. Did we not learn something? Sometimes we had fun. Sometimes we got sad. Yes, bell, 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 bell. Thank you, Mortad. Hit the notification bell. Hit the notification bell. Every single one of you. Every single one of you. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. And then all. Oh, bell notification. All. Oh, do it. Do it now. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you we think is no. And oh look, oh they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like. No, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 